operations and strategy is incredible. I am confident this is just the first of many more to come. Mr. Adams, OBIT's chief technology officer went on to state, the future of blockchain is now, and it's not only affecting the banking industry with cryptocurrencies. What began as the basis for cryptocurrencies is essentially becoming the next generation of virtual ledgers capable of recording and verifying a high volume of digital transactions and is spreading across a wave of industries. In the next few years we will begin seeing multiple blockchain uses that stem far beyond the financial markets. We believe our team is ready to meet this challenge and is well positioned for additional work and contracts. The OBITS development and advisory team will begin immediately working with green technology and engineering on identifying system requirements. OBITS expects to be working on this project over the course of the next 12 months. About OBITS Headquartered in Fleming Island, Florida, OBITS, Inc., a OBTX, is a development, consulting and services organization specializing in blockchain technologies and decentralized processing. Okay, thank you, Clara. Interesting story on Obix. Uh, sounds like it's more of a blockchain crypto play. Uh, didn't really say much about cannabis in there at all. All right. <clears throat> Something to keep an eye on. Next up, let's talk about Green Thumb Industries. They had a good earnings report yesterday. Headline here says Green Thumb CEO says real fun is just beginning as 2020 revenue spikes 157.2%. This came out yesterday at 6.24 p.m. from our friends at Benzinga. And we're going to have Aria explain this further for us. Green Thumb Industries Incorporated, CSE, GTII, OTCQX, GTDIF, owner of the Rise Cannabis Dispensary chain, posted its latest financial earnings report Wednesday, touting a pop in revenue and a proclamation from CEO Ben Kovler that the real fun is just beginning. The Chicago-based cannabis company reported a fourth-quarter revenue increase of 12.8% as of December 31, 2020, and a 133.8% year-over-year revenue increase to $177.2 million. Here's a Q4 summary. Second consecutive quarter of positive gap net income, delivering $22.5 million, or 11 cents per basic, and diluted share. Adjusted operating EBITDA grew 23.1% sequentially. EBITDA climbed 374% year-over-year to $65.4 million. That's 36.9% of revenue. Fourth consecutive quarter of positive cash flow from operations. Subsequent to quarter end, raised approximately $156 million in sales of U.S. securities, and Exchange Commission registered shares. Here's a full year summary. Revenue increased 157.2% to $556.6 million. Positive gap net income of $15 million, or $0.07 cents per basic, and diluted share. That's an improvement over a gap net loss of $59.1 million, $0.31 cents per basic, and diluted share in the prior year. Adjusted operating EBITDA grew 546.9% to $179.6 million, or 32.3% of revenue. The company secured $25 million in a sale leaseback deal with Innovative Industrial Properties, NYSE, IIPR, for its Toledo, Ohio manufacturing facility to fund the construction of a cultivation facility on the property. What the CEO says, Kovler praised the Green Thumb team for its social equity advocacy and the company's strong balance sheet. Our brands are connecting with consumers and our capital projects are on track, he said. At the same time, we will maintain our focus on diligent execution and high-value capital expenditure allocation that will create sustainable value for all our stakeholders. Okay, we're going to wrap it up here today with a uh, story about Delta 9 to open 11th Cannabis Retail Store. And we'll bring Aria back in to finish this up. I uh, just want to say thank you again for listening. Uh, please feel free to check out our social media platforms on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and YouTube. Uh, feel free to reach out to us. Leave us a note. We'd love to hear from you. Let us know how we're doing here. 
Uh, it has been a blast doing this podcast for you. Uh, I'm uh, having a great time, hoping to keep it going uh, indefinitely. Uh, there's plenty of news to share, so that's basically what I do. It's I share the news that I find throughout the research of uh, cannabis stocks in my normal trading routine. So uh, just I really hope you guys enjoy uh, what I'm doing here. Uh, just please feel free to shoot me a message anytime. Uh, we do have a Patreon page set up, and uh, feel free to go to that. Uh, it's uh, patreon.com backslash Johnny Fongo Show 1. Uh, feel free to check it out if you feel like uh, helping us out here and supporting the podcast. We would really appreciate it. Back into the story. Delta 9 to open 11th Cannabis Retail Store. Aria, will you finish this up for us? Delta 9 Cannabis Incorporated, TSX, DN. OTCQX, DLTNF, Delta 9, or the company, is pleased to announce the grand opening of its 11th Delta 9 Cannabis Retail Store and 8th Cannabis Store in the province of Manitoba. Delta 9's newest retail store is located in the city of Winnipeg and is scheduled to open on March 18, 2021. We're pleased to bring Delta 9 and our many brand partners to the residents of North Winnipeg and surrounding areas with a brand new retail store at Buns Creek, said John Arbuffnet, CEO of Delta 9. Delta 9's welcoming retail cannabis concept, combined with a focus on convenient and high-traffic shopping destinations, have been a successful part of the company's overall vertical integration strategy. Our retail strategy is to offer the best selection of cannabis products at the lowest prices from the most popular cannabis manufacturers in Canada. Delta 9 now has eight stores open servicing Manitobans and 11 in total across Canada. The company plans to have up to 20 Delta 9 cannabis retail stores open this year and has a long-term vision of opening many more Delta 9 branded retail stores across Canada. Located in one of Winnipeg's most vast and established communities, North Kildonan on the corner of Henderson Highway and Bonner. This location enjoys a traffic count of over 35,000 cars a day and is well appointed to service over 54,000 people living nearby with an average household income of $100,000 per year. This section of Henderson Highway is the focal point for over half million square feet of retail businesses, making it one of the city's larger shopping destinations. Within a three kilometers radius the area tenants include Liquor Mart, Sobeys, Shoppers Drug Mart, and Dollarama. The new store is located at 2001 Henderson Highway as part of the Buns Creek Mall. The location offers plenty of free parking spaces and easy access from the street. The new store offers customers a modern shopping decor, highly trained staff, and a wide range of products, including dried cannabis flour, cannabis oil, edibles, drinkables, vape pens, concentrates. All right, thank you very much. That is going to wrap it up for us today. Let's take one quick last look and see if there's any new headlines this morning. uh, It's still pretty early. It's about 7 o'clock this morning. We're wrapping this up today. Again, I just want to thank you for listening uh, and wish you good luck in your research and your trading, all things investing. I truly hope you enjoyed the show. It's, It's a pleasure doing this and sharing my information with everybody. Uh, Please feel free to check out our social media platforms, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, YouTube. Leave us a note. Uh, We'd love to hear from you. The podcast is available on all the major streaming services, Spotify, Google Podcasts, Apple Podcasts, so on and so forth. Uh, So please feel free to uh, find us anywhere you'd like. With that being said, this is the Johnny Fongo Show. I am Johnny Fongo, and have a profitable day. Thank you.